Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the Basement Yard podcast featuring Joe Sanagato and uh, Go that guy over yeah, there. Yeah, you can make up something. I knew you were going to make up something. I, I just did a little shimmy. Angel Hernandez? Not Angel Hernandez. The, the MLB umpire? Angel Rivera? That was my fake ID name. That's, what I was That's right. On, yeah. uh, but I would, they would go, Angel? I'd go, Angel. You know, because I had to really commit to the bit. Okay. Of having you a you did get it taken away, so it didn't work. I got it taken away after years of using it, though. Yeah. You know what's funny is I got it taken away about two months before I turned 21. At McCann's, right? Yeah. yeah. It was by a big Asian dude, and I was so angry at I him. remember because I was inside, I think. Yeah. And well, you were going, already 21. Huh. You were already 21 at the time. Oh, yeah. And I got it taken away, and I was very upset. But uh, I used that. Here's the thing is I got that when I think I was like 19. So I used it for, at that point, almost two years. Mm. He, the person whose ID I was, first of all, it was found in a deli and given to me by someone. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, they, he was 10 years older than me. So like, what? It, <laughs> this guy was 30 and you were trying to pass his 30? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. So like, I wasn't just like, I, I always think of uh, the thing. Welcome back to Basement. I always think of the thing. From McLo- uh, McLovin from Superbad, where he's just like, how many 21-year-olds do you think there are in this neighborhood? Yeah. Where, you know, fucking idiot. Oh, that's how you were justifying it? I like, was Yo, justifying. if you're 21, he's going to think it's fake. But if I'm 30... Yeah. Genius. And Not it, when you looked like it, how you did. It worked all but like once. Every other time it worked. And I got away with it. Yeah. But also, people didn't care. No. Back then, they were just like, whatever, your money's great. Get green. in here. You know, I feel like now. Do fake I'll- IDs even exist now? Fake... Yeah, of course. I saw some shit that, like, apparently the generation of kids that are turning 21 now just don't drink as much. I mean, good for them. Probably be healthier. Nah, fucking losers. Yeah, you guys are dweebs, Fucking dude. dweeb, loser. Chug that right now. Hey, guess what, Pledge? Shots. If you don't, you're gay. <laughs> That's how we grew up. Uh, basically. Yeah. And even down to what you drank made you cool or... Gay. Gay, you know? Which is funny because when we were younger and it's like, I loved Mike's hard. That was the first thing I ever drank. Yeah, me and you. We drank them on New Year's. And then someone was like, you drink Mike's hard? You're gay. gay. Yeah. And I was like, it made you, It made you gay. <laughs> and but it, they're great. Same thing with like Twisted Teas. I remember when the first time we went to hang I've out. I've had that like twice. The first time I ever went to hang out with like the aunt and all those yeah. guys, the picky boys. They love them. Love them. They love they've got tea. themed buckets. <laughs> like they've got it all. And I remember they all, all of them were ripping twisted teas. And, and a part of me was just like, gay, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but like that was, that was beat into me at the age of fucking 16. I've also went full, like rebelled against that whole thing because against the homophobia, because now like I will go to a, like a cocktail bar and look at, like, I pick all of my cocktails based on if, like, there's tequila or mezcal in it. But if there's, like, pineapples oh. and, like, watermelons oh. and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want this thing to show up and just look like I bought it and I'm at a swim-up bar in the Bahamas. Yeah, I don't know who decided to to to, to give sexual orientation to, to, drinks. to drinks. It's like, oh, it's, it's sweet. So, but, like, but let's be honest about something. Oh my god! The gayer drinks are way better than the straight drinks, First, bro. It's not even close. Also, dude, you're so sick with your whiskey neat. <laughs> yeah, like I, oh, it sucks, dude. I like whiskey. I, I like, like whiskey scotch. too. I, I like, like it whiskey. on the rocks. I like, I like it on the rocks. I, I mean, I like it neat. I, listen, I see the appeal in it. But if you're gonna tell me that you're no. gonna go to a bar and you're gonna get Whiskey. A whiskey neat over like a fucking like a, a fucking cum shot on the beach. Yeah, that's what I'm You're saying. You're out of your mind, yeah. dude. If if I look on a menu and there's a drink that has like a gay name, I'm like, dude. Also, dude, and I listen. I'm not just saying this. I'm not just pandering because we went to a Mets game one time and it was Pride Night Let's and they go. had like the Pride cocktail and I was like definitely getting that because of this is I like yeah. It was phenomenal. Of course dude. it was. Now what would fucking straight pride? Unhealthy, unhealthy. Oh yeah, unhealthy. Of course. A lot of sugar in the there. The amount of red dye in that bitch was probably insane. It, insane. You know what it looked like? It looked like you took a bunch of ice pops that were like not frozen and just dumped Dump, them. I like that. Alcohol. I kind of like that. Like it. I love it. I want some mo of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like 
I, I just don't get it. Like, I hate why it. did why did we need to like listen? Whoever, whatever fucking homophobic loser out there was just like, certain drinks are gay, certain drinks are straight. Yeah, you ruined a whole fucking generation. I could have grown up enjoying this shit, <laughs> yeah, and I now I need to yeah. find it in my later fucking years when I can't drink like I used to. I wanted to drink a Cosmo in my house too, but I couldn't because I was afraid my dad would find me and then disown me. And he would. He would have. He would have. A hundred percent. He would have. Yeah. Bro, if my dad. My dad didn't like us drinking, period. He really, really didn't because my dad is sober. My dad's been sober for 30 years. I know. This, <laughs> this is what's crazy. Most of the drinking we did was at his house. I know. <laughs> this is what's crazy is my dad for years, like, didn't know we drank. What? I swear to God. Frank, outside Until the we were, like, 20 years old, he didn't knew that we, like, he. Really? It's so funny. I love my dad. This is a big dad episode. Not Father's Day, but here we go. My dad, for years, we would always say, because his mom passed away, you know, fucking 17 years ago at this Who point. Who cares? Move on. Okay. And <laughs> we would always say, like, what was it like with her growing up? And he was like, good mom, really naive. And we're like, naive. Neef. And he argued oh, that. Oh, he thinks it's neef. Neef, yeah. Got it. But we were like, what do you mean? He's like, I do all this stuff she never know. And then legitimately, my dad didn't know we drank until we were like 20 years old. Mind you, uh, literally, I would say maybe 27 feet from where he lays his head at night, Bro, I have drank 27, 30 beers 20, in a night. 27 is generous, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, like six feet from where- 37 he, beers multiple times. Dude, and he just like legitimately didn't know and then when he found out, he was like, oh. Well, yeah. like, you're fucking, you're naive too. Yeah. But if I, if my dad found out I was drinking and it was just like a fucking dirty martini, he would have oh, kicked me square in the chest. It'd be like, don't do that. Yeah, right. That's for downtown. What does that mean? Because according to fucking whoever made up <laughs> geographic locations for the gays. Oh, downtown's gay now? Yeah, gay, everywhere's gay. Downtown's the best part of every city. I know. <laughs> fucking, it doesn't make sense, dude. Why are we running away from the coolest parts the of things? The coolest shit. The best cocktails, the best parts of town. They were also, the gays might have been gatekeeping it a little bit too. Because they were just like, all right, we don't need to share this stuff with you. It's ours now. And like. Damn, like, yeah, fucking, I didn't want to drink fucking <laughs> vodka straight funny. out the bottle. I wanted to mix it with some fucking... Some pineapple juice. Juice! Some juice. Juice! Oh, by the way, mimosas, bellinis. Mim me up, belly baby. I'm ready for fucking all of it, dude. <laughs> Mim me up, belly baby. Hell yeah. 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 Or like a, even a sangria. I feel like that's like old lady stuff, but I love it. Dude, and then like... Like, someone, I remember once, I think actually it was a Family Guy joke, or maybe not, whoever, they were just like, oh, hollowed out sourdough with a dip in it is gay. And I was just like, what? That's the best way to have dip, dude. <laughs> Plastic bowls are trash. Dude, come on. Stop doing this. Dude, I, honestly, the bread bowl, up there with fire. <laughs> as far as, like, oh, invention. Okay, great <laughs> Yeah, like the wheel. Yeah, fire. Yeah, dip in a bread, a sourdough bread bowl. Breaking off a piece of a bowl and dipping it into the thing that the bowl is holding, and then eventually the bowl goes away and the dip at the same time. I mean, magic. Bro. It's honestly people pay top dollar in Vegas for that kind of shit. That, that that's something that only like like a genius could have come up with. Like yeah. you have like J. Robert Oppenheimer. And then, or Robert J. Oppen, you know who I'm talking about. I don't, but I do remember earlier today, Frankie tried to say Vivica Fox, and he said Vivia, Vivia A. Fox. Vivia A. Fox. Yeah, Not well, Vivica Fox. No, no. He's like, where are you going to hang out with Vivia A. Fox? I was like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, I messed that one up a little bit, but... Uh. Whatever. Yeah. Man. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you because I had a, I had a dream. Speaking of your dad, I had a dad. Peng! <laughs> I had a dream about your dad. <laughs> well, technically, we were all in the dream. Wait, you dreamt about my father? He actually wasn't in. I didn't see him. Well, hold on. <laughs> he so was in the dream. You just kept saying his name in your dream? I don't. Uh, that I don't understand. Okay, no. Uh, were no, you moaning my dad's name in your uh, dream? Frank! That's a... Big Frank? What were you drinking? A Zima? No. What's that? That was apparently a gay beer, dude. A Zima? God, you got I've a never lot. heard of that before. You got a lot to learn. Um, 
but I had a dream that we were doing a show and I remember like looking out in the crowd and I'm like, this crowd is not that big. Like it looked like there was like 40 people and there was foldable chairs. Hell, if we ever get there, put a bullet in my fucking head, <laughs> you know? Um, but like there was like foldable chairs out and like the metal ones that you would crack over each other's heads. Joey, I, I am very well aware of what a foldable chair is. And if it was metal or plastic, wouldn't change a thing. Correct. Uh, but we were there and we're doing the show and I remember thinking like, what the hell is going on? Like, why is it such a small crowd? And then all of a sudden people started leaving and I'm like, what? And they're taking their chairs with them. <laughs> right. So there's, were just you like wear, were you wearing your red, uh, your white hood? That's a joke. Guys. Yeah. That's a really good, is that a clan joke? That's a really good clan. Joke. You're only 70 years late. Okay. Well, is that another, is that a good number? Probably earlier than that. Clan's been around a little longer than seventy yeah, was, years. Yeah, probably. Um, but so we're on stage doing this show, and then all of a sudden I, I notice people start leaving, and they're picking up their chairs with them and taking them with them. So there's just like a hole. Were they like the collectible chairs that you get at like WWE shows? How about I tell the story, you shut the fuck up, and we'll make some comments afterwards. How's that? All right. Drink your tea. I will. <laughs> but then so. They start taking the chairs, and I'm like, what's going on? And then eventually, we just, like, get off stage, right? And then I see you, and you're furious. And I'm like, what's going on? And you're like, you didn't hear that? And I'm like, no. I'm like, why were all those people leaving? Where does my dad come into play? Right now. Oh. <laughs> and you go, you're like, you didn't hear that? And I'm like, I'm like, no, what? And you're like, my dad was in the crowd, and he heard some girl talking about her boyfriend, and he said, yeah, right, honey. You don't got a boyfriend, you fat fuck. <laughs> Right. What? <laughs> yeah, and then people heard that and were like, hey, and then started leaving. And then they got up and they left because of my dad. Because of your dad not calling because some of girl us. a fat fuck. All right. First of all, not something my dad would say out loud. Maybe he would say it in, in his, Spanish. In, in his head. Well, no, <laughs> Spanish. Spanish is way louder than English. Probably. You louder? Know? Yeah, it probably is. Come on, dude. Yeah. You can't uh, whisper Spanish. You can't. Uh, no. Oh, no, you could actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that, uh, no. No, you can. No. Yeah, you you can, but like. Donde? Yeah, you you have to do. It's it. sexy if you whisper. You Spanish. just can't tell secrets that are you like can't, dangerous yeah. secrets. You can't you can't whisper and not be sexy in Spanish. You know what I mean? That's yes. Because it it like you can't tell a secret. Right. Because it'll just be sexy. It'll be horny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. Like someone's gonna kill you, and it's like, oh, what? What? Yeah, you know. Or what they is- can just say like they shit their pants, but it'd be like, ay, mi pantalone. And diarrhea. Yeah. You're like, ooh, ooh, cagar. What is that? Cagar, I believe, is to shit. Cagar. <laughs> C A G A R. What was this? You went to shit. <laughs> you pulled the plug on your ass, <laughs> and, you and now you shit. This is, uh, isn't this in American oh. Sign Language bullshit? Is it? I thought it was like, fuck you. I don't know. Now we need to look this up. Or is this like, I think that's fucking. I think that's bullshit. Oh, uh, maybe it is poop. I think it's bullshit. I don't know, honestly. I don't know either. But someone, if someone is, you know, hard of hearing watching this, they're like, what are they doing? Yeah, I, how would they watch this? Oh, captions. Sub- subtitles, yes. Yeah. The captions, subtitles, yeah. Hey. It happens. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so you're dead. I know nothing else in sign language. I was going to do something, and then I realized. This is something. This is definitely something. <laughs> no, no, no. That's everything. That is okay? everything, yeah. No, this. Th- uh. <laughs> Brother? <Yeah. laughs> We're back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Shannon knows sign language, so I like picked up some of it sometimes. Okay, yeah, maybe we can learn. We probably won't. But probably won't. We probably right. won't. I saw a video recently of Margot Robbie doing the whole alphabet. I saw that. She was like talking to someone that was like hard of hearing that was... Are we not allowed to say deaf? I did that I because they're like... No, I don't know either and I don't want to like... I don't know. If anything, I feel like... Again, not a member of the community, the hard of hearing community. You but can like, definitely hear. Easily. Deaf? Sounds way cooler than being called hard of hearing. Hard of hearing, yeah. Like, like, yo, that's deaf. Hard of healing, I think of like heart of palm. Like, it sounds like like a, you know, like a. It, it sounds like, yeah, like heart a. Heart of hearing. Like a Yu Gi Oh card. Or like something you have to like go get in like Zelda. You know, you have to go get oh, the heart of hearing. Yes, before you can go into the fire dungeon, you need the heart of hearing. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know do what I, I mean? Like, oh my actually, god, I go all the way back now to go get the heart of hearing. I just gotta say, you brought up Zelda and I wanna keep talking about it, but I understand we gotta move past it. You know, I've never played that game ever. Well, I don't know well, anything about well, it. Well, there's several Legend of Zelda games, Joey. You need none of them. You've never played any Legend of Zelda Breath game. Breath of the Wild, no. Well, that's one of them. Well, that's like the most popular one. I've never played Arguably any of them. Arguably most popular. It's one of the more it's the most one of the most recent. 
incarnations, yeah. but like Ocarina of Time, Link yeah, to that's the Past, another, yeah. you know. None of them though. None of them. Zero. <laughs> they're very good. You should. But they're like, you can't, you're like, you wouldn't be able to play them. Like you can't, and, and I, I guess I do mean this as an insult, but like you can't be like stupid and play these games <laughs> <laughs> because, like, because like you need to be able to like put clues for things together. What do you think of me? <laughs> I think if with video games, honestly, I think you're probably a little dumb. It's not that I'm dumb. You're just, just not that, like a video game minded person. So no, like you would have all, to like th first of all, 100% insulting. Oh, okay. Okay. That's number 1. Number 2, the difference between you and me when it comes to video games is like you enjoy a good, nice, slow storyline. So like Red Dead for Yeah, Dish. you enjoy being like a fucking hardcore jock and throwing fucking touchdowns to fucking, you know, uh, Terry Holt. Tory Holt. What year do you think it is? <laughs> Tory Holt hasn't been in the league in 30 20, years. 20 years. Yeah, like what are we talking about? Yeah. Here? Um, what were we talking about? I don't know. The Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. So like Red Dead Redemption. I'm not going to play this whole game. But Red Dead Redemption is, if I'm being honest with you, it's not like a smart game. They'll say like... But I don't play that. But but that's because you're also stupid. Like, <laughs> it'll say like... It's a fucking... Ass. I'm just saying. Like, I don't mean it as a straight insult, but like... A curved of, a one. A kind of curved roundabout insult. Okay. But like... You'll play a game where it'll be like, go to this house and kill this person. And you'll do it because you're brain dead. But like, if it's just like, hey, you need to figure out how to move this person who's blocking entrance to the fucking Death Mountain or Dodongo's Cavern, then... Dodongo's Cavern. That's a real thing. In so let me Zelda. say something. You're, you're a genius. Your IQ is genius level because you play Zelda and you run around with a sword. Is I, that what I'm hearing I now? Think, I you're think cool not. because you're a genius and you should get a Nobel Peace Prize because you play with elves. Well, Is that what well, you're telling well, me? There's Magic no, elves. Uh, as far as I know, there are no elves, okay? There are humans. There's Kokiri. Okay, we could go down the line of the races in the high rule, low rule, if you really want to get into it. But I just think that you tend to your taste in video games tends to be if we're being honest simplistic and kind of barbaric okay barbaric joey two of your favorite frankie game. you use the word brain dead back there yeah i did yeah totally different than what you're saying now you're like all your taste in games is different is different than you're going you like well, you're brain dead you like sports you like games where you run around and like aimlessly shoot. kill and shoot. Yeah. You know, you don't like anything with like any form of complexity or puzzle solving. That's not true. Like what? Like, no, no, no. Seriously. Like fucking what? Command and Conquer. Okay. You had a, you had a small blip on your radar. That's of, not true. I played that a lot. Okay. For two years, Joey. 2002 no, to 2004. Keep, When's going. the last time you played Command and Conquer and or Red Faction? Bro, oh. 20 years max. No, no, no. I still have it on my Xbox. What do you mean? Okay. That's not answering my question. Within a calendar year. Really? 100%. What the hell is wrong with you? I just do skirmish. You could just like... It's fun. Okay. I in, like strategy games. In that... You don't even know me! In that, in that regard, I will, I will recant part of my statement. But the vast majority of the video games you play are simplistic, barbaric, and kind of hold your hand through the whole thing, Joey. Play, play something a little, play, play Yo, something a little so out the box. you so Unraveled. Frank, play a little unraveled. See if your brain can comprehend fucking puzzle solving on a micro and macro scale. Listen to fucking Power Rangers and fucking Mario Party over here. Is this kid kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm just saying, like, Legend you, you of Zelda. You collect stars. Don't, now, you know what you're trying to do now. Mario You're trying Kart. to insult me on a personal level, which is... You are doing that to which, me! Which is taken away from what I'm saying here. All I'm saying, Joe, is that maybe broaden your horizons with video games a little bit. Oh, oh right, you like NHL, do ya? Champ? <laughs> Way to fucking go. You're really cracking the case. You're really a fucking... Frank, all you play right now is MLB The Show. It's baseball. Well, yeah, well, the, Correct. Uh, you, well, Goodbye. <laughs> Bing bong. We do have ads for today. <laughs> fucking kid. Brain dead. I'm not the one who has a dad who called some girl a fat fucking. In, in your show. dream, you made it up. <laughs>
Yeah, in your dream, you in my dreams. Up. Your dream, you were imagining calling someone a fat fuck, and that's why you're. That's why. No, I imagine your dad saying it. And you're, and it was a litmus test to see if you would want to do it yourself. <laughs> you fat fuck. That's an insane thing to that say. That would to be a so fucked up. It would. I would never in a million years do Don't that. Don't do it. Yeah. Thanks for it. Okay. Anyway, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being Babbel. You want to learn another language? Of course you do. I mean, you're American, right? For the most part, a lot of Americans are watching this right now. Uh, or even Canadians, actually. Uh, you guys are all mostly... Actually, there's a lot of French speakers there, too. But anyway, if you guys want to learn another language, even if you already speak two, you can speak three. What's better than that? Okay, be a citizen of the world, speak all of the languages. And you can do so with Babbel. Uh, it is a great way to sort of gamify the experience of learning a new, uh, oh geez, I, you know what? I have to go for English because I can't speak. Um, but it's a, it's a great way to learn um, how to speak a new language. And it's conversational. Uh, it's not just like, you know, the textbook words and this and that, it's actually conversational. So you could actually use the sentences that you're lear learning like in the real world. Like if you do use Spanish, uh, if you do choose to learn Spanish and then you go to Spain, you'll be able to use some of the sentences to be like, where is this? Where is that? Can I go to the bathroom? Can I order this? Um, or like in an airport, for instance, like, you know, how to say your luggage, where is this? Where is that? Like that kind of stuff. That's why it's amazing um, because it's, it's so helpful. Um, but yeah, so there's a special limited time deal for our listeners right now. You can get 60% off your Babbel subscription, uh, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. That is 60% off uh, at babbel.com slash basement, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash basement. Rules and restrictions may apply. Uh, but yeah, go. They have 10 minute lessons. Um, they're great. Every day you go in, boom, get a 10 minute lesson. I'm telling you, it will change your life. After a year, uh, you will know a good portion of the language. It's nice. So go get a little Babbel subscription there. You got 60% off. That's huge. Uh, we also have ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a platform that you can go on and find uh, patient review, uh, patient rated um, doctors in your area that take your insurance. So that's why it's super helpful. I mean, for me, I found ZocDoc on my own before they were even a sponsor for the show because I had no idea how to find a doctor's appointment. I usually would just follow my mom and she would take me to the doctor. And that's how I found my doctor. Um, but at a certain point, you got to grow up. And I was like, I don't know how to find a doctor. And I was using ZocDoc and it's a free app. Um, like I said, you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors um, near you and also like their next appointment. So you put in your insurance, what you have, you put in which doctor you want to see, whether it's a primary care physician or it's some specialist or whatever, and they will find the ones in your area. You'll see their rating. I believe it's out of five. Um, and they're patient reviewed. So, they, you know, that's not like paid for that. Someone could just make themselves look, you know, good just from that. Um, and then their next available appointments. So that's how you book your doctors and that's how you find your doctors. Uh, I've used it multiple times. I think everyone should. Um, it's a great platform. And like I said, it's free to use. So go check it out. Uh, you can go to ZocDoc.com slash basement and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash basement. Uh, go right now. Okay. So if you got a little something going on, you want to get a checkup or you got a little something going on, ZocDoc.com slash basement. Enjoy. And listen, although I may not be a doctor, I got the cure for your Sunday blues, baby. And that's more of us, The Basement Yard. Go to patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Folks, we gave you guys a couple years ago a task with getting us to number one on the Patreon charts. And uh, boy, you have not fucking disappointed. We are on our way. Thank you so much to everyone, everyone that has gotten us to over 30,000 patrons. Isn't that fucking banana sandwich? Joey, don't answer. It is banana sandwich. So thank you. And for those of you uninitiated, what you could do is go to patreon.com slash the basement yard and sign up today if you feel so inclined, if you're nasty. That first tier, you get these weekly episodes one week in advance. And then that next tier, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday. More of Joe and I. So you could start your week and your week with the basement yard. Now listen, folks, I understand that spelling the word Patreon might be a little difficult for people. Listen, it's hard for me too. So what you could do is go to thebasementyard.com, our sexy, sultry, dripping wet website, where you can get information on merch, the Patreon, upcoming shows, all of that stuff. So go to thebasementyard.com. Thank you so much. And listen, lean in a little closer. 
Listen, put your sneakers on, okay? I want you to come with me. We got somewhere to be, okay? What you're going to do is go to thebasementyard.com slash submit. If any of you freaks and ghouls out there are coming to any of the Basement Yard Experience shows and you submit answers to the questionnaire. Listen, these shows that we do, we like them to be uh, interactive, all right? There's a portion of it where we want to talk with you guys. We want you to talk with us. We pulled someone on stage at one of the shows. Uh, we call people out. All that stuff, you can be kept anonymous if you want, or you can just talk with us during the show if we so choose. So go to thebasementyard.com slash submit. Make sure you answer the questions, input what show you're going to, and it's going to be a good old grand old time, all right? Thank you guys so much. I'm throwing it back to my co-host right over there, Joe Sanigato. <laughs> what is that? That was flawless. It was. It was good. That was pretty. Give me more than good. Great. Thank you. Brilliant. All right. Not going higher than that. Come on. Uh, anyway, we do have to talk about the big beef right now. That's <laughs> Hey, yo. We have, got, we have to talk about the big beef. The big beef? Yeah. Who's? Not, yeah, who's big beef? Who's big beef? No, I know what you're referencing. Yeah, and it, it's not Kendrick Drake. I was going to say... It's so funny. A lot of beef. There's so much beef right now. Quavo, Chris Brown beef. Yeah, Quavo, Chris Brown beef. Beef. There's <laughs> J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake beef. That J. Cole is like, I don't want to be in this beef, so no more beef no for more him. Beef but for Drake him. and Kendrick are down for beef. There's so much beef with so many rappers, and then on the other side of it. We've got Taylor Swift beefing with the big beef herself, Kim Kardashian. Is she the big beef? First of all. She used to have a big beef, a but lot. she got it. She shrunk down her beef. Joey, Joey, Joey. What? <laughs> I'm talking about her butt. She shrunk her butt? Yeah, she shrunk her beef. Her butt beef? Yeah. What the heck? Do you remember back in the day when Kim Kardashian was like, that's clearly a, f that's fake that's butt fake beef. That's fake butt beef. Yeah. They, was, they shoved some horse meat in there. Exactly. Like, really? that's not butt beef. That's horse beef. Let me ask you a question. No. So then they cut it open later on and they took some of it out because she's like, oh, this looks a little ridiculous. Too much beef. Wow. So now it's a smaller beef. She had to get rid of all those clothes. She had to get rid of all those clothes. Yeah, sure they don't fit okay. no more. I'm sure she's okay. Those are probably custom-made clothes. People aren't built like that. There's not normal beef. That's, that's wild beef. They don't make clothes for beef like no, that. That's, that's crazy beef, honestly. The beef you're referencing is between Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. A.K.A. Mommy. Ma who, a lot mother? of people refer to her as mother or mommy. Something like that. And Kim Kardashian. Right. Now... It's, it is funny that there's, like, all these rappers that are fucking beefing with each other. Yeah. And then she's just like, I'm going to drop a fucking diss track. Yeah, Taylor Swift on her new album called, like, the something about poets. The tortured Dead, poets. The tortured poets department. I think it's called that. <laughs> Gotta look it up. The tortured poets department. If it's department, that is fucking hysterical. I'm pretty sure it's department. All right, I'm looking it up right now. Hold on. The tortured poets department. <laughs> Uh, the song of Post Malone Tortured is good. Poets Department. It's Department, right? Yeah, I knew it. See? I'm a Swifty. Um, department is department. so funny because... It's not funnier than the word beef that I love. Because just now. like... You think of a department. You think of like a part of Target. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? Like you don't, I think Department of Education. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the, This is the Department of, of Tortured uh, Poets. But yes. So she released uh, a song called Thank You, Amy. But in the title, everything is lowercase except the K, the, the I, word and the Kim, M. The word Kim. So yeah. Kim Kardashian, Miss Beef. Miss, whoa, well, hold on. Miss Beef? I, I explained this. She's got a, she had a big beef back in the day. Oh, you're referring to her as the poster child for beef, for butt, for, for back. For back. I mean, back she beef. is Queen Beef. She's Queen Beef? She is. You have your Queen Bee and Beyonce, and then you got Queen Beef and Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Okay, all right. I, feel, I hear what yeah. you're doing here. So Taylor Swift put out this song, and she was basically like, yo, you fucked me up for a little bit there, but I'm fu look at me now. Well, so I looked into this, and... Oh, my God. I have Before you explain, just so you guys know, Frankie doesn't know anything I don't, I about don't. pop culture. So the fact that you looked into this and now you're going to tell me about it yeah. is exciting. Okay, yes. And I think I actually got a pretty good job. So yes. this actually starts yeah. back at the 2009 MTV VMAs. Correct. Where Kanye West, it's now an infamous clip. Yeah. Kanye West, as a, Taylor Swift was accepting the award for best music video. Yeah. Ran on stage, took the mic, and said, hold on, Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I believe it was the Single Ladies video. Yes. 
which is an iconic video. It's a good video. It's a great video. It's a great song. Great song, great video. Yeah. Great dance. Yeah, the, this thing. This. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, and, he, you know, that was a big thing. You know, like, people are like, oh, this is the downfall of Kanye West. Like, you can kind of, like, you could look at, like, the part of, like, where it started and say, like, bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah, but then he put out, he put out Dark Twisted Fantasy after that, and it was fire. Honestly, Kanye's music after... Wrong. Okay. My Dark Twisted Fantasy was fire. Okay. I like, I think, two songs on there. Crazy. Anyway... Okay, well, move it along. I, I'll be honest with you. I also only know two songs on Correct. there. Correct. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, started there. Beef started there. Then a couple years ago, in a song that Kanye released when he was married to Queen Beef, Kim Kardashian, Queen Beef, <laughs> was called "Famous," and in the song, he said, "Hold on, I got." I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. I made that bitch I made famous. that bitch famous. Referencing first of all, Taylor Swift was on a meteoric rise. She was she was, she was on already a, famous as shit. Uh, you belong with me was a fucking certified bippity boppity boop at yeah. that point in well, time. Well that was also years before famous came out, way before. But I'm saying when the VMAs thing happened. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yeah, referencing he made her famous because of that clip. Right, right, right. Which is off. Yeah, it's not true. That is mother. Don't speak of mother this <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, we're we're not I don't want this to get confused. I like Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we, and also, I have nothing against Kim Kardashian. You know, no, like, she's Queen Beef. She's 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 great. I, I, yeah, you know, we support all women. There's probably a few that I don't support, yeah. but I don't know yeah, how yeah, they yeah. are right now. Yeah, like Joey's not a big fan of Ava Braun. Neither am I. I don't know why. I specifically Who's said Ava Braun? She was Hitler's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either. Just putting that out there. I don't even know. That. Okay, uh, but. And then the, people were like, oh, shit. Like, why would you say that about her? Because it's wild to say on a song, like, I'm going to have sex with this woman. Yeah. Like, I could still. And then mm -hmm. I did my research, Joey. Okay. Let's see if you get this right. They released. They said that she, that Taylor Swift agreed. Mm -hmm. And they released a phone call right. on International Snakes Day, which was pointed out by Queen Beef herself. International Snakes Day? Some shit like that. Like we got to chill with that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snakes, they're getting a day. You don't day. need a day. You don't need a day. You're, you're lucky you're still allowed on this earth. I, I agree. You don't need a day. No, like apparently earlier in the day she had acknowledged it was International Snakes Day and then later released a clip of the phone call where she's reportedly agreeing to the line being used. Right. Saying like, oh, it's tongue in cheek. It's okay. Ba ba bing bong bing bong bing bong <laughs> But... This reportedly made Taylor, like, hide because she was getting attacked because people thought she was a liar now. Can I interject? Yes, sir. I believe that she knew that he would say that line of, like, uh, I think me and Taylor might still have sex. But he left out, I made that bitch famous. Mm. So I think that was the part that she had, like, an issue with. So what I read was that... Later on, there was something that came out that was an extended version of the call or whatever, but it basically showed that although she agreed to a portion of the line, that part of the line, right. she didn't agree to. So then doctored footage. Fake fucking news! Fake news. The Queen Beef is playing Queen Games. Royal families play games. So you could have just went with chess. Chess. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Queen's chess. Come on, Joey. Yeah, that's good. Queen's Gambit? N yeah. Yeah. They play chess in there. Yeah. I, the yeah. whole show a is chess. Of <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. lot of it. Um, but now this new song comes out. Taylor's just like, yo, there's like a bronze statue of you. Yeah. Of like fucking. And then Taylor Swift says some shit like, um, what was that shit she said? She's like, something about, she. Ch I changed your name, and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, she's confirming that, like, yo, I'm talking about Amy, but Amy's not your name. Your fucking name is Kim Kardashian. Queen yeah, well, Queen I Beef. mean, she didn't really make it hard for people to figure that out when the letter is K-I and M. That is such, like, a, like... That's I like would... a, a third grader could have come <laughs> up with a better fucking puzzle. Sorry, I... mother, but you knew what you were doing. I think that I've sent Frankie a post-it in third grade that said, like, I, I like capitalized like the like word, the word fuck. like fuck yeah exactly. 
<laughs> and just wrote like, I have to go to the store and then tried to send a curse word. Yeah. Also, none of those have F. But whoops, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, what now? What happens? Yeah. Do they just? Because also, let's be honest. The biggest loser here is Kanye. He's all. He just made Kanye Yeezy porn. Oh, he said he wants to make Yeezy porn. No, no, no. He said he's making it. Oh, he says a lot of stuff. Though. He, does. he does. What's your favorite thing he said lately? Lately? Uh, within the last five years. Okay, I know you're walking me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, but like, what? It's beef, dude, and it's on site, probably. No way, it's on site. It has to be. Who? Who do you think wins that fight? I think Taylor Swift might kick her head off. I don't want to. Kim Kardashian's small, but she's got a lot of. Bro, she's got, she's got fucking power. She's all, yeah. She's, she's got, Queen Beef, brother. Yeah, she is Queen Come beef. on. Yeah. You don't get that name like Mike Tyson would have been at a certain point in time. King Beef. Hundred percent. He's like a little fucking. <laughs> she's bobbing and fucking weaving. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You know her dad helped fucking OJ dodge some fucking time. Yeah. So you know she's in the fucking. Yeah, she can bob and weave some stuff. She can bob and weave. But if Taylor Swift like keeps distance, because to me she's like six foot three. I know she's not, but she feels like she is. Okay. So she kind of just keeps her distance. She could probably like hold on to Kim Kardashian's head like this and then just pat. This kick is her. like if if like Joel and Bede were to fight like Mike Tolbert, like I... <laughs> Mike Tolbert. That's a crazy pull. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what I imagine. Like Taylor's got to have a good like 2 feet on her. I feel like she's got a jab. I've never seen Taylor in Yo. real life up close. I've seen her in real life from across the stadium. Have you? At the Jet game, I was there. She was there. Oh, that's right. She was there at Jets Chiefs. I've never seen I her. I saw her. I never seen it her. It was granted it was a quarter mile away, but it I was. saw her. Did see her. Um Did breathe her air. The technicality of what you're saying is there. It, it checks out. It does. But if she had a cold, there's a non-zero chance that you could have eaten it. I, I can't confirm how tall she is. Right. But she looks like she's at least six six. Mm -hmm. You know? She isn't. Let's see. <laughs> she's she's probably something along the lines of like five eleven. Taller than you. That's crazy. Yeah. It's insane. You'd be agreed. I'm not. Five, I'm five ten. No, you ain't, Joey. Okay, here we go. You're, five five. You're five six. <laughs> five six. That's crazy. Um, um yeah. but like, and how tall is Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian's got to be five eight. What, bro? She's five two. The odds on this on FanDuel are going to be insane. She's got nine fucking inches on her. That's crazy. That's a that's a crazy reach. That's a dude. Nine inches is like that's a big cock. Length of nine height. That's nine inches, brother. <laughs> that right there. That's right yeah. there. I believe that's nine inches. I think that it could be more. It probably is. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just like. We don't want to see two women bring each other don't. down. We don't. I hope that they handle it amicably. Or. Amicably. Or. Amicably. Or. Am shut up. I'm trying to say the word. Amicably. Amicably. Yeah. Or. Have people step in as representatives for them to fight. Travis. Travis. <laughs> What's it, Travis Scott? Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, this is your time. Who's okay? going to fight for Kim Kardashian? <sighs> it's not going to be Kanye. It can't be Kanye anymore. <sighs> Who's she got over there? I don't know. <laughs> Who's, she, Who's look, in her look, camp? Look it up. Pete Who's Davidson. It? That's the only most recent one I could think. Uh, Pete Travis get, would tear Pete, his head Pete, off. Pete, Pete get Come on. Look Come on. up who Kim is dating right now. Oh, Odell. What? Yeah, she's dating Odell. This could be the biggest event in fucking football and pop culture history. Have Odell fight Travis fight Kelsey. Fight Travis Kelsey. Wow. And winner wins the beef war. Winner becomes Queen Beef. It's the, the beef, beef belt is the on the line. The belt is on the line. <laughs> this is the dumbest episode we've ever done well, in recent history. Well, we've done some pretty dumb ones. I'm going to choose to ignore them, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but there's a lot of beef in the, the world right now. The beef belt will be on the line. Yeah. I think this could be a billion dollar right, and it could be hosted by the Basement Boys. Listen, Kim Yeah. and Taylor. We're sorry if you were offended by anything we, didn't, we just said. First of all, we didn't offend. We're fans of both. Very much so. Yeah. But if you guys are looking to make any investments, we are open for... 
business. Business. That's all I'm saying. For we're in the beef business is what we're trying to say. I think this we're, is. A, are we're trying to get in. We're trying to get in. This right? could be huge. It could start. It's just. It's starting as like a small. Little idea Rinky right now. Rinky dink idea. But it can grow into something massive. Let's talk about scale. Kind of like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Humble beginnings. Simple approach to just capitalizing on Stop it. popularity. And then it could be iconic. Think of Beef Battles USA <laughs> as a pay-per-view. You're going to tell me you wouldn't want to watch that? You wouldn't want to watch Kendrick Lamar... And Drake box beef it out, and maybe they don't have to box. Just beef in some sort of. There could be a beef. There could be queen the queen beef belt, the big beef belt, which is for who's that for? Have super heavyweights. Like you can have like. Speaking of beef, did you hear Meg The Stallion is getting sued right now? Because she like watched. They she, made she made her cameraman yeah. watch her fuck some uh, woman or something in a car. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah, you don't force people to do stuff like you that. Don't do that, guys. It's simple. It's very easy. Even though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this is where you were going. <laughs> I'm just saying. Even though. I'm not saying me. Say it. Say I'm it. not saying me, though. Who? Who? Could be anybody. Anybody, yeah. I think there is a portion of the world that would. Just be like cool, yeah. With that, but if it's not, if you're not cool with that, you shouldn't be forced. No, you shouldn't. You should not force somebody in that situation. But it sounds cool. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it is that cool. That doesn't mean it is absolutely like, correct. It sounds cool to be like, look at that. If you are a hardworking individual and you're being forced to watch somebody else engage in any form of coitus, right? Not okay. Not cool. Not Don't good. be forced. Even though that <laughs> it sounds like it might be all right. It's not all right. Because some people like the beach. Frankie hates the beach. I do. I do hate so, it. So, like, you know what I mean? It's what about if the, one, of the, one of the undercard bouts on the Beef, beef Brawl USA yeah. pay-per-view card... The Big Beef Battle could Royale. Be, ...could be Lizzo versus Meg The Stallion. What does Lizzo have to do with anything? She was allegedly forcing people to do sexual things, too. That's true. Who wins Wait, that? why would they fight each other? Why not? Okay. And then you could put in like who else has beef? Well, everyone's got beef. <laughs> Me and you. Me and you beef it? We'll beef. We should beef. We should. We have I to. I feel like all we do is beef though. We do beef. We, we beef a little bit. We beef a lot of bit. A lot of bit. It's our stick. Beef our sh Our stick is beef. Our stick is beef. You know? It's a it's a, it's beef. a beef stick. It's a beef stick. <laughs> This episode is not for them. Cheers. <laughs> this is for, this is for us. Like, this is the dumbest thing Ow, ever. Ow! Are you back from <laughs> Are you bleeding? You bash your tea I into your... I my tooth on this. You bash your tea into your my teeth? My tea in my tooth while we're talking about beef sticks. He bashed his tea into his teeth. <laughs> talking about beef. Oh my god. This might be my favorite episode. <laughs> I knocked my tooth with my tea with my teeth while talking oh about god, beef. I'm covered in tea. Whose fault is that? You also spit it on the ground. You're lucky we're revamping. <laughs> oh, you spoiler, bitch. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we're gonna revamp. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we yeah. have some sponsors. We got one more, sponsor. one more sponsor. Only that's it. Only one more for you fucking peasants. I'm sorry. What's going on with him? <laughs> I think that hit a nerve when I hit my tooth. Yeah. You hit the... You, what? There was a... We, cool. We do have a sponsor for today. <laughs> uh, and it's FitBot. You want to get in shape? It's never too late. The summer's right around the corner. You want to get that summer bod or you just want to get in shape anyway? You want to be a little healthy? Here's how you do it with FitBot. Um, I personally love... Uh, FitBod because I think that they're great for everybody and it's educational and it's also going to get you into shape because you can't just go online and look at any other you know just any program and follow that 
that may not be helpful to you. Uh, depends on your genetics, dep depends on your goals, and also your experience, okay? If you have no real uh, experience with fitness or working out, uh, you're gonna need some help along the way. And they have over a thousand demonstration videos to teach you how to do certain, uh, you know, routines or exercises or whatever the case may be. Um, and it's for anyone, like at any level of experience, but also, you know, what you have available to you. If you don't have a gym membership or you don't have any workout equipment and you just wanna do body weight stuff, you can do that as well. They will build a workout routine uh, for your level ex of experience and your goal. So if you wanna put on mass, you wanna lean out, you wanna do whatever, weight loss, uh, they will build one for you based on your goals and your experience and you can do it from your uh, living room or wherever you want. You don't have to go to a public gym. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming for people, which I totally understand, but that's why FitBot is great because they will make something catered to you and your goals um, and they will help you work out in the most optimal way possible. And you can go to fitbot.me uh, slash basement and you will get 25% off your subscription, okay? Uh, this is more affordable than a personal trainer as well. So it could be very helpful, especially, like I said, I'm big on the educational side of, of this and, and for fitness because I think it's important. Um, I think it's a, that's a big deterrent for people of why they're not into fitness. It's like, I just don't know how or whatever. This is a good way to kind of get into it. So get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbot.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. All right. Enjoy. Go crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Where do you go from here, you know? I'm trying to think. Um, think about what? Where do we go? Oh, no, yeah. Where do you want to go? I don't know. You don't know? Why do you say rhyming? it like that? Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I did write down Costco, guys. Yeah. You, you know, you ever see those two? The guy, yeah. the guy and his son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know a AJ people... and Big Justice. Is that their name? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like a... Superheroes. Well, yeah. Big Justice and his sidekick. People AJ. Are, like they're they're starting to like challenge our love for Costco because I'm a fucking big Costco boy. I like Costco, dude. Love Costco. I I like it, and sometimes I'm like, okay, like I just want yeah. A I don't jar need, of catch a, a jar of mayonnaise, and it's like I don't need here's a, a barrel. <laughs> Not only forget that I want a single thing of ketchup. I don't want a suitcase that includes. Ketchup, ketchup, relish, fucking mustard. Just yeah. give me just one ketchup. Yeah, they get a little crazy with the sizes. Yeah, stuff. I don't like. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok, but it's like a guy and his son, and they go in Costco, and they're like, "We're Costco guys, of course we fucking eat you know, the whatever. chicken bake." It, what is that? I don't, bro. First, it of looks all, like a big breadstick. It does look like a big breadstick. I would love to eat it. Would you? Yeah. I am gonna go further, and say I wouldn't, and I'll tell you why. I once had a hot dog at a Sam's Club and I almost died. And that's a serious true story. How, why? I just, I went to a Sam's Club in West Haven, Connecticut. I know, I know, probably not the best place to go and get a fucking hot dog. <laughs> but there was a Sam's Club right by my college and I went and I got a fucking big fat hot dog. Were you going food shopping? Or you just I went, went and bought some stuff. I actually think I bought a pillow or two. You you bought a hot dog when you were pillow hunting? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Sam's, Sam's Club. Yeah. But I went, I ate the hot dog, and my heart was racing immediately after I took my last bite. Does this thing have caffeine in it? I don't know, dude. But I, I remember I was with my friend Melissa, and I was just like, holy shit, like, I can't calm down. She's like, what do you mean? I was like, my heart is racing. Like, I was sweating. <laughs> From fucking, a hot dog? From a hot dog. And you know how I love hot dogs. We all love hot we dogs. We all love them. So it hurt me, but... You know, I made my way back around to. But that's not Costco. Costco has good samples, bro. The last two but times, the same, but it's not Costco branded. I guess some of it is crap. But like, is it? Is it? Are they still doing that? They do do samples. They didn't do samples for a while during the pandemic. That's but then probably they're back, why they're back. The last two times I went, I'm like, where's the sample people? Dude, I would go up. First of all, if I didn't take a sample, I thought the person like would react like I was going to spit in their fucking face. I agree. If they're like, you want to try this? I'm like, I'm okay. They're like, well, fuck you. Yeah, I'm they're like, not. They don't care. But I'm taking all samples. It depends. Like, there are certain samples I'll crush. I like things that are like, you know, the little cup they usually put ketchup in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they put like a little like something in Like it. a dumpling, like a piece of a dumpling or something. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, I like this. I like carrying it around. I like when they do little cups of like coconut water or something. 
Yeah. And, and they're like, and I just it? throw it back like I'm in fucking, you know, college again. Yeah. You know? But, oh, God, I love Costco. Costco? Can you get multiple samples or is that, you know, that's like... We, I mean, the people by us didn't care. We would go around and around. Oh, you were treating it like a fucking Chinese they, Yeah, why the fuck does it matter to them? They don't care. They got to sit there and... They're, they're not like... I mean, they got to they gotta shell it out to the people and try to sell it. You can't just give it to you because you, you want a fucking buffet. You know, this isn't Golden Corral. I'm not kidding. There have been occasions where we have gone to Costco hungry and like left like satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Who is we? My wife and I. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What are you guys feeling for dinner? You want pizza or you want Costco samples? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. And some of the best food I've ever had was in a Costco sample cup. You need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you ever see you know those cups that I'm talking about? You I know, the paper ones. You can open them, apparently. When I saw that, you I was like, spatchcock genius. spatchcock them, butterfly them, open pussy. Sp- all of that what? Yo, your dog stinks like shit. Bro, before... Bro, he sucks right now. He farted before, and I was like, what is happening? Yo, he smells awful, dude. Do you not bathe this dude? You of bring him to get fingered, but not fucking bathed? First of all, he doesn't get fingered. Don't say that out of context. Do they put a finger in his ass? Yes. That doesn't... It's for medical it, reasons. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah, okay, I'm sure. Is that had, why you get it done, too? Is that why you anal, milk yourself? He had an anal gland... Leaking thing. I don't know. Wild. It happens. Wild that that happened. That it happened to you? It happens to dogs, Frank. Stupid. <gasps> Sorry. That that honestly, there. I'll be honest with you for a split second. He's just sec. a boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, he does. He was. He's been farting though, and I don't know why. Yesterday, I didn't even. I gave him. What did I give him? I did give him a little piece of pizza earlier. Oh, you know what? It. I didn't give him pizza. That was a joke. No, no, no. It's not that because he wouldn't be farting that up already. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what he could have eaten. I'm trying to think if he ate my food recently. And maybe that, because usually sometimes he'll eat I'm just some gonna say this. food. I'm just going to say this. I am just going to say this. I already know what you're going to say. Go if you say bring it. this fucking dog here, have him not smell like shit. That's all I'm saying. We are the talent. And as we're recording, we need to be on our fucking A game. Okay? Frank, we just talked about B for literally 47 <laughs> minutes. If that's A game, I don't. What is B game? <laughs> Beef game. Beef game. The beef, beef games. The beef games. The beef games. Now, we make Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift race each other. So, it's like the Olympics. The beef games. Dude. I mean, come on. Who's winning that race? Sponsored by Beef Jerky. Slim Jims. Who's the other company? Jack Links. They got, they got beef sticks. Yo, they beat the shit out of Slim Jim, though. I don't know about beat. Slim Jims peaked in the 90s. That's what I mean. Like, they're, they're like, Beef Links kind of I, took I'll over. Say, I'll say this. I love a good Slim Jim, babe. Isn't, like, Sasquatch their, like, mascot? Jack Links, yeah. Yeah. Do you believe in Sasquatch? Probably not. No? What the fuck? No. But I've heard it's, like, a species. Yeah. Sasquatch is the name of the species. Yeah. You're talking about Bigfoot. Species. <laughs> You're talking about Bigfoot. Correct, yeah. No, the, I like, mean, like... The, the guy. I, I think I believe in, like, a Sasquatch I don't know. species. Like... I've heard stories of them just like hiding in trees. Like my dad thinks, does it's a, you don't need to follow up yeah. with anything. <laughs> I know my uh, my mind has been made up about whatever your dad thinks. My dad thinks okay. that Sasquatch travel through portals. <laughs> yeah. Well, Joey, like I said, you didn't need to elaborate on that. I'm serious. I had made up my mind. He really does think that. I don't know where I stand with like all these like mythological like animals and creatures in our world. Like I don't Loch Ness monster, maybe I don't care. I'm not going to swim in a lock, you know. Although that would be really cool. What is a lock? It's just a lake. But I, Scottish? Yeah. Really? I think that's where the term lake comes from. Loch. Yeah. Uh, now I now I look it up. The Loch Ness monster is probably fake and also probably dead, even if it was alive. Uh, yeah, no, this is just giving me the, 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 like, scientific definition of what a lake is. I don't care. Um, but, yeah, uh, the chupacabra. What's that? That's like a Spanish... That's, uh, it's like a... Demon it's, woman? It's like a Spanish... No. It's like some animal that, like, sucks blood from, oh. like, goats and stuff. It's like a big bat. The Jersey Devil. Don't know if I believe in that. Is that a thing? Yeah. You never heard of the myth of the Jersey Devil? No. Yeah. Where do you think the game came from? It's a little devil. 
Yeah, but the the term Jersey Devil, Joey, come on, you really? I, I have to educate you multiple times during an episode because I don't know mythical mythological demons. I, I I would hope, and also so much for you educating me. You're googling. The, it's a mythological creature that has haunted the woods of New Jersey Pine Barrens since the 1700s. Oh. All these things are dead, bro. They're not 400 years old. I mean, people say that stuff like this still happens today. Well, they'll find like a, their, uh, like a cow of theirs dead and it has been drained of all of its blood overnight. Do you remember when we were kids and people found a dog? No. Do you remember down the dumps? I remember the dumps. <laughs> we had an area in our neighborhood growing up where we just called the dumps, which I don't know why. But... It was just like a very industrial part of town. Yeah, but remember the hills? Yes. So the hills... Um, I heard that there was people that would gather there, like weird people with like whatever, and they would like burn shit and like I don't effigies know, I, and shit. I, what is that? Just keep going. <laughs> and then someone found a dog that was like cut open and like nothing in it, like all its organs and everything were like taken out, like a sacrifice. Like I was like, what? So I never went down there. I was mad scared. That's why you became big YouTube because your parents sold their soul for you to become big YouTube boy. No. Yes. How how did you get there from that? That's what happens to these like demonic people and stuff like that. No. Is it like they they will sell? They'll be like, I'll give you, we'll sacrifice the in organs of little fucking this dog, and then my next born son will be humiliation a ritual. That's the one I keep seeing now. Humiliation ritual. You never heard of that? No. What the hell is that? It's like this is why they put guys in dresses. This humiliation ritual. What? <laughs> yeah. Like in movies and shit. Like dudes would be like like Big Mama's house. Great movie. Yeah. Like, it's like honestly, oh, probably not that it's great. It's probably a super okay movie, but I loved it back then. Um, but like even uh, John Cena recently at uh, whatever that was, the Academy Awards maybe, where he came out like naked. He was naked. And I was like, what's the point of this? And people were like, oh, it's a humiliation ritual. Like he's selling his soul so that he could like be more successful. <laughs> like what? Yeah. John Cena needed all the help in the world yeah. to be successful. It's like you got to put on this dress. It's a humiliation ritual. For 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 that money, I'll fucking I'll wear a thong right now, dude. I so I don't know if I believe in this stuff or not. I hope you don't. Jim Brewer. There we are. Recently, listen, listen. Jim Brewer on a podcast recently said that he talked to Chappelle back in the day, and he and he said that Chappelle said to him that people visited him. So Chappelle was like, people came to me to try and correct his behavior or something. And it like scared him, and eventually he left. Not what coming does this from. Mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Is that like people who are running something? I don't know. The Illuminati, the lizard people. Something. I don't think the Illuminati is like an actual thing, like that that people think it is. But I do think there are people who are like, yo, we make the decisions, do it this way, or like you're fucked, you'll never work here again, or blah blah blah. All right, so then like have them hit us up. I'd love to be a billionaire. <laughs> Fuck. What the hell? You need me to put a dress on, dude? I'll get fucking real tits shoved in I'll, here. I'll just send them the fucking Patreon episode of us in drag and be like, done. <laughs> yeah, right. Done. We already did it. Yeah. You know what? People are going to think if we ever become really successful. That that like, was our humiliation. Humiliation episode. ritual. <laughs> when really it was two idiots sitting in a fucking room being like, this would be fun. Yeah. And it was. It was a very good time. Honestly, the eyebrows was not fun. I the, didn't like getting my shit glued down. Yeah. That, that wasn't really like awesome, but... You know, it was cool. It was cool. A lot of makeup, though. Honestly, big the wig, respect. The big, oh, my God. Big respect for the drag yeah. community. In addition to the, you know, societal beating that they have to take, you know, from people that think that they are trying to brainwash people. You know, also the physical parts of it that are very difficult is a lot of respect, too. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> but, like, a drag brunch... I haven't been to one because I'm too scared. I'm afraid. I've said it, and I'm I will continue afraid to, to say go. It. I feel like I look too straight. You are. I'm gonna get ruined. You're. Yeah. You would get. Like, fucking... get this straighty up here. Let's make them do a dance. Yeah. And I'm like, Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shy. Dude, I'm afraid. I am afraid because like they'll. I'm I'll... not afraid. <laughs> I will never recover from a straight, uh, like a a, a, a drag get... brunch. Yeah, because they'll flame you. Oh my god. Go I'll crazy be, on I'll you. Destroyed. Well. Yeah, I'm I'm going you crazy chill, now. Yeah, right? my, my wording is off. It's a little just chill. <laughs> makes a little it makes it sound a little too nuts. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, I, we we should do that though. At some point this year, go to a drag brunch, see what happens. I'm gonna try and. Dress Why don't we just hire people. drag queens to come here and we have our own brunch and they just roast us? I don't because I'm afraid. <laughs> and now I'm trapped. And I am going to get roasted. I just want let's hire three drag queens for one day to come here and we just sit here with mimosas and they just stand there with a mic and a camera and just destroy us. <laughs> 
I think that would be an incredible Patreon. If you guys want to see that, all at, the drag queens are going to hit us up now like, yo. At 35,000 And drag kings! And drag kings! That's right. At 35,000 patrons, maybe we'll do that. Also, 30,000 patrons, you were supposed to do Muay Thai boxing with Josh. You made that up. No. He made that up. No. He said, yo, tell, tell no. a fucking... Uh, proof! Where's the proof? The group chat that I'm in, that Josh wrote that in. Uh, the show point. the people. Whatever. Show the people. Exactly. He was supposed to. He was supposed to fight our editor Josh at thirty thousand patrons. And now, thirty five thousand patrons. Maybe we'll do that as a little bra uh, uh, a drag brunch. That yeah, would be so. We'll all go. Well, or we can have it here. No, we got to go to a place. We don't. They, they're. They need a microphone. They got a whole thing that they do. Oh no! Where will they ever find a microphone? <laughs> Fucking loser. Whatever. Anyway, that is all for this week's episode. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. And like Frankie said, go to thebasementyard.com slash submit. If you are coming out to the shows, we want you to fill out these uh, forms so that you could be part of the show at some point. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you've never been to a show, which most of you haven't because we're coming to different parts of the country, that means we've had three shows. So thebasementyard.com slash submit. Fill out those forms. Um, and, yeah, we'll be f super excited to see you guys uh, on the road. Uh, you can go follow me at Joe Santagato on all platforms and the show at The Basement Yard. Where can they find you? F. Alvarez at 85 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on all their forms of social media. And then The Basement Yard every single goddamn place. <laughs> and that is all. See you guys next time.